So this is a faulty power supply from a 24 inch Apple cinema display. I'm going to see if we can fix it in this video. First up, we're going to try and get into this using a sharp blade where it's all glued together here in the middle. In order to loosen the glue, uh, we're going to use some petrol that I've got here in the jar along with this syringe so I can dribble it into the gap, let that soak and then use the blade to try and prise this open. So yeah, let's get on with that and come back when that's done. So with the petrol having done its job, we can now remove the covers to reveal the power supply inside. So yeah, we'll just now carefully lift this out. And as you can see here, there's a number of uh, metal covers or shields around the power supply. So we'll have to look to remove those next to um, hopefully give us access to all the components inside. So using the trusty IPA, and I've also had to desolder a tab on here, I was able to remove this outer shroud. And as you can see, it's revealed all the glue, which is kind of all over the place. And uh, it's probably going to be a real pig to remove. And yes, it was indeed. So here are all the uh, heat shields and shrouds and whatnot that's uh, covering this thing up. And you can see all the mess I've made to try and scrape this stuff off. It's very difficult, particularly here on the back and on top of the um, transformers. So I've already started having a look and I can already see this capacitor in the corner looks slightly swollen. So it's definitely something there we're going to have to have a look at. So with the majority of the glue removed, we can now test the output of the power supply. And as usual, if you're attempting this yourself, then be extremely careful as these contain lethal voltages. So you should only be doing this if you are confident working around them. So as you can see on the multimeter, we should be seeing a constant 24 volts on the output. But here you can see it's fluctuating. So clearly there's uh, something wrong that needs to be fixed. And now we're just using the microscope to do a visual inspection of the board just to see if there's any obvious signs of damage or burnt out components. But so far the underside of the circuit board looks okay and now we've moved on to the top side and we're just double checking the components and the only thing i can see that obviously looks bad is this uh, capacitor that we found earlier and with the capacitor removed from here uh, i've now got it in the meter and you can see it's only reading 62 microfarads whereas it should be 220. so i ordered a replacement which i've now fitted as you can see here and uh, looks like we can ready to test this. And as you can see here is the old uh, capacitor, which is uh, 220 microfarads at 35 volts. So we're ready to test the power supply again. So I got it plugged in. Now I can put the multimeter onto the output side. And as you can see, after changing the capacitor, we now have a consistent 24 volts. So it looks like that's now fixed. So using this rather Heath Robinson setup, you can see I've got the power supply plugged in to an old laptop. And when I power the laptop on, you can now see, voila, we have a display. So it appears that the power supply is working again, which is fantastic. And that was a relatively easy fix. So the last thing to do is to put this all back together again inside the case. So I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.